Hello and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill. Battle Plan is an ongoing discussion of how we put our faith into action in unique and effective ways. Prayer plus action. Thus, the ministry name, active-faith.org. You can email me at stevehemphill1 at me.com. In our last episode, we talked about how a special ed teacher trusted God's word. Today, we're going to talk about scriptures in a communion cup. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 6 in the Amplified Version says, But God, who comforts and encourages the depressed and the disquieted, comforted us by the arrival of Titus. God notices depression. This leads me to a story about a lady who uh, came to me and, uh, well, she heard me speak and and bought a set of steaks and took them home. Uh, She she said her son was severely depressed. She said there was no reason for it. It's it's one of three boys she had. They all had a college degree and a good job. But even though he had a good job and, and money and was doing fine, he was just depressed. A spirit of depression had descended on him and it had gone on for months. And everybody in the family was worried about him. She was already not only praying, but fasting regularly and praying for him. And um, when she heard me speak, he was at the point where he wasn't even returning her voicemails or her emails or text messages. And she was literally expecting a phone call at any moment that maybe he had committed suicide. So um, she got the steaks after she went to one of my sessions, took them home, and she set them on the table and um, uh, prayed about it. She said, Lord, how do I add this to what I'm already doing? And she thought a minute, and it clicked. She knew what to do. Now, she was so focused on trying to help her son that not only was she praying and fasting, she was taking communion by herself at the end of her fast, sort of as a punctuation point to God, Lord, uh, I, I'm, I'm begging for your help, and I'm, I'm in covenant with you. Rem- remember the covenant you have that you would help us and get us through and give us strength. I'm asking for my son. I'm, I'm interceding for my son. So that was her normal procedure. So she had this cup she always used for a communion cup when she, uh, when she took uh, communion at the end of each fast. So she she, as she prayed about what she should do, she realized she needed to get that communion cup. She went and got the cup and she set it on the table and she put the steaks in the cup. And she put a picture of her son who was depressed in the cup with the steaks. And the rest of that day and late into the evening, she fasted and prayed for her son. The next morning, her son called her and said, mom, I don't know what you did last night. But whatever it was, it worked. This spirit of depression is gone, and it's like I woke up in a whole new world today. Now, now, Steve, are you saying what we need to do is take communion and use that cup and put some stakes in it? No, no, this is not a formula. This, God's not required to do anything. I'm telling you this story as a way for you to consider how you can use the ideas and the stories I'm sharing with you to build on what you're already doing, like she did. She was already fasting and praying. That's one of the weapons. We'll be getting into the weapons very soon. She was already taking communion at the end of her cup. That's another weapon. It's a reminder of covenant with God. It's a, it's a, it's a procedure that, that reconnects us with him in a special and unique way, and he commanded it. And she added these verses added these stakes with the verses on them to what she was already doing. And that's when she got the breakthrough. That's the idea of all the spiritual weapons we'll be talking about uh, soon is keep adding weapons to what you're praying for begins to happen. That worked for her. All glory to God. It's not the stake. It's the power of the word of God and adding his literal word to what you're already doing. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest that part of your personal battle plan might be to ask God how you can add literal scriptures, sort of like a salve, applying unique verses to help someone who's hurting or depressed or in some other way. Maybe you could pray like this, Lord, what verses should I add to enhance the power of my prayers in each particular circumstance? Show me, Lord, and I'll place them there in faith 
faith of the literal power of your holy word in Jesus' name. You can visit active-faith.org and make a donation if you like. Thank you for your help. See you next time on Battle Plan, where we'll hear about drug rehab demons and nightmares. And let me remind you to keep praying because prayer works. God loves you and I love you. Have a great day.